A new facility to grow corals has been launched at St. John's Island. Singapore is also starting its quest to plant 100,000 corals in its waters over the next 10 years and beyond. Apart from boosting marine diversity, corals protect coastlines from erosion. Coral reefs globally have been rapidly declining due to factors such as rising sea temperatures, pollution and overfishing. Rachel Tang with more. Singapore is embarking on its most extensive coral restoration effort to date. About 250 species of hard corals in its waters have been documented out of over 800 species found worldwide. Coral reefs they occupy a very small percentage of the world's surface area, maybe about 0.1 or 0.2 percent. And But then they support a lot of the world's coral marine biodiversity, about 25 percent of it. In Singapore's context, uh, we have lost about 60% of coral reefs since the 1950s and our efforts over the past two or three decades in terms of coral reef and restoration research have uh, really refined our strategies. Corals are cultivated at this new facility before they are transplanted into the marine environment. And in true Singaporean fashion, most of these will be grown in a manner similar to public housing. Now in the past, these corals used to be grown horizontally, but over the years, researchers have found a way to optimize space and grow them vertically in what they call coral HDBs. Each of these tanks can hold up to 600 coral fragments. The facility will house six tanks. With this vertical system, researchers say they can cultivate two to three times more corals at one go. To create ideal growing conditions, the National Parks Board has also teamed up with this tech company. The system automatically monitors the quality, temperature and proper mixing of water in the tank. If there are abnormalities, an alarm will be sounded for a human to adjust the system manually. As for the 100k corals initiative, one of the next steps is to get the community involved. Members of the public can look forward to opportunities to join us to grow and cultivate corals. For example, NPARCs, the St. John's National Marine Laboratory, and the Friends of the Marine Park will be establishing a training program for volunteers to assist with coral husbandry and underwater monitoring. There was also a special guest at the launch of the initiative. Famous primate expert Jane Goodall, who's also a marine enthusiast, was present as part of her working visit. 